Hey, have you ever wondered how much power your devices actually consume? Like, I don't know, your camera battery charger, your cell phone charger, any other tool really that plugs into the wall. Well, if you remember correctly, I showed you this uh, Unity UT210E with a clamp on it, which I told you you can clamp around a wire to tell how much uh, amperage is flowing. So, pretty simple. You just grab an extension cord, plug your device in, stick the clamp, or put the clamp into amp range, stick it over the wire, and you should have a reading, right? Mm. Why is it still zero? The answer to that is that the clamp on the amp clamp can only read what's inside the actual clamp. And if you look here, this has two wires on it. So it has a wire coming from the wall, going through the device, and then coming back out and back into the wall. And so although there might be some amperage flowing this way in this wire, there's also the same amount of amperage flowing this way in the second wire. This means that somehow we're going to have to get this clamp over only one of these two wires. Now this is just a dollar store cheapy, but you can pick one of these up and modify it just for this exact situation. This cost me like a dollar twenty-five here. Now your first step is to make sure that the cord is unplugged from the wall. Because if you slip with a knife, uh, you might electrocute yourself. Not a good thing. Next, you have to pick a spot in the wire where you want your amp clamp to go, and I want mine pretty close to the plug end here. So what you do is you gently use a knife and slowly and carefully cut between these conductors here. And you're just cutting into the plastic, and you're only cutting as much as you need to. And then you take these, split them apart, and pull. Enough so you have enough room to put the clamp over. Then you inspect it, make sure the insides of this wire, where you cut, there's no copper exposed. You still have to maintain the integrity of the conductor. And that's it. This should work. So here my charger is charging, and you see the two loops of wire. Now same thing with the amp clamp. Put that over, and there you go. This charger right now is using just about 140 milliamps. It's just that easy. But pro tip, uh, make sure you get the, the wires that are flat and so you can see both conductors and not the round type. And also, if you want to do this with metal appliances or appliances that have exposed metal, you're going to need a third pin. This is just a two-wire uh, connection. On the one with the third pin, there's three wires. Um, you'll just have to try one or the other because one of those three won't work for this situation. It's because it's the ground wire. So it's not used, it's only there for a safety feature. So you shouldn't disable it, but it's also normal to not see any current go through it. Now that gave us a result of 0 0.140 amps. But we wanted to know power. Power, which is usually a P, and it's expressed in watts. One more variable we need is voltage and that is in volts. The formula is power equals volts times amps. And in a later video I'll show you an even easier trick to do this. Basically we need to know the volts multiplied by the amps and we're going to get the watts. So here I am in North America so my volts are 120 volts. So we multiply 120 times 0 0.140 and we're going to get the power. 
which equals to 16.8 watts. And it's that simple. If you need to know the amount of power a device takes, measure the amps, multiply by the volts, and you get your wattage. If you like this short little video, if you learned something, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.